All right, the I can for today is I can understand products of fractions. So let's start with some vocabulary to kind of tie in with the fractions. So let's start off with looking at a fraction multiplied by a whole number. So when you have a fraction and you multiply it by a whole number, you can think of the traditional point of view when you have two whole numbers and you can think groups of. So let's say we have one third times four. So one third is my fraction, four is my whole number, one third times four. I can think of a fraction times a whole number as four groups of one third or one third four times, right? And we know that with multiplication, and whole numbers, you can think of it as repeated addition. So you can think of one third plus one third plus one third plus one third. That's four times one third, or one third four times, right? Is equal to four thirds. When we add with fractions, you just have to look at the denominator. You're adding, excuse me, numerator. You're adding the numerator as long as the denominators are the same. So one third plus one third plus one third plus one third is four thirds. So a fraction times a whole number, you can look at it as groups of, right? One third four times, four groups of one third. Either or um, direction, or you can look at it as a whole number. times a fraction, and we'll just mix it up and choose some different um, numbers. So the whole number, let's say, can be 5, and then the fraction, let's say, can be um, 1 half. So the whole number times a fraction, it's the same idea, 5 groups of a half, or a half 5 times. I should go like this, a half 5 times, right? Five, a half 5 times, or 5 groups of 1 half. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. Groups of. When you have a whole number and a fraction to think groups of, think repeated addition. I have five times one half, so one half, one time, two times, three times, four times, and five times. One, two, three, four, five. My denominator stays the same, five over two. And you can also rewrite that as a mixed fraction. All right, so the fraction multiplied by the whole number is the easier part because you can kind of piggyback off of the fact that you know when you multiply a whole number by a whole number you can think groups of, like two times two is four, two groups of two is four, or three times two is six, three groups of two is six, or two groups of three is six. Think groups of repeated addition for a whole number times a fraction, and same thing, fraction times a whole number. All right, the fifth grade part is a fraction multiplied, you guessed it, by a fraction. Okay, so when you think fraction times a fraction, the key word, and I'm going to write it for, actually, yeah, let me just go ahead and write this down. Do an example like let's say one third times one fourth. So a fraction times a fraction. You can't think groups of. And the reason being is because you don't have that whole number. You have two fractions, you have two parts of something. So when you take a part of a part, and that's the key word. And it's a short word, it's a simple word, but it's an important word. Of. One third of of one fourth, and you can switch it around, one fourth of one third. You're taking a part of a part, a part of a part. And when you do that, we have two ways we can approach this. The first way is a visual, and the second way is just the fluency behind it of when you just multiply it across numerator and across denominator. So let's do the easier way first, which is just the fluent part. So write out your fraction, one third times one fourth. When you multiply with fractions, you simply just multiply across. So one times one is one, three times four is 12. 
one third of one fourth is one twelfth, or one fourth of one third is one twelfth. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw. Just draw a line this way. Actually, I won't. I was going to say I was going to draw a slant to separate it, but let's keep it together. The picture. One third of one fourth. So first things first, I'm going to draw a hole. And I want to represent one third of this hole. So I like to start side to side or horizontally. So let's divide this hole into three parts. Because it's a third. Here's one part, two parts, three parts, right? And then I'm going to represent that one third. And I'm just going to take i just use the black. So I like to start at top, on the top. Top and then left. Kind of like reading a book. So I've just represented one third. One third of one fourth. So the second fraction I want to represent vertically. So this is one third. And now I want to represent one fourth. So kind of take this away from your head for a second and just look at that outline of a hole. I'm going to divide it up into four pieces one, two, three, four. But essentially what you've just done, since you've created that lattice, that layering, that crisscross of lines, you've created twelfths, right? One, two, three, four vertically, but then you still have that three horizontally, and that's exactly what we want it to do, because I'm going to color in the one-fourth, and then you'll see that crisscross. This part is your answer. That is your product because you've just represented one third, remember that original first black strip on the top, of one fourth, one fourth. So it's a third of a fourth or a fourth of a third. And a third of a fourth or a fourth of a third, just looking at this, if we didn't know the answer, so you'd count how many total parts there are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, that's your denominator. I'm gonna rewrite it over here. And then the one intersecting point between the two fractions is right here. There's only one box, so my numerator is going to be one. A third of a fourth, or a fourth of a third, is one twelfth. So for, I can understand products of fractions. Remember the more simpler concept is simply a fraction times a whole number, or a whole number times a fraction. You can go either way. Think about it as groups of, that is keywords, groups of. One third times four, five times one half. You're taking four groups of, one third, five groups of, one half. And then a fraction by a fraction, that part's a little bit more meaty. You have two fractions, you can't think of it as groups of, you think of it as of, because you're taking a part of a part, or part of a part. The fluent part, or the fluency, is just multiplying across, numerator, denominator, the visual part is when you draw your hole, represent one fraction side to side, represent the other fraction up and down, color in the strips, and then see what overlaps is your product. All right, that was a lot of information, but it was good information.